Welcome to another video. In this episode, we're going to be discussing lukewarm and withered branches. I want to say all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And this video will be entitled Lukewarm and Withered Branches Will Pop Up Looking for Sympathy and Mercy. All right, lukewarm and withered branches will pop up looking for sympathy and mercy. <clears throat> now, I want to just go in on a, a situation or two that's, that's been happening as of late. All right, the brothers from the uh, GMS Charlotte and GMS South Carolina Midlands camp had an individual that they've been uh, that they rebuked. This guy that was lukewarm. And you can see here from this video, there were several videos did by the brothers this first video rebuke his love according to the scripture by Yahweh shall I protect the elect 12 tribes scattered all right one of the brothers from the charlotte uh salakia from the uh gms south carolina midlands camp all right he did a video right here <clears throat> go and subscribe to this brother's uh channel and the videos rebuke his love according to the scripture he was uh going in on the individual which really he didn't really go in on him he was just you know rebuked him all right, and then you had <clears throat> oh, come on now. The brother, the priest, Amawan, if it'll come up here. <clears throat> yeah, the brother, GMS Shining Light. All right, GMS Shining Light, Bob. Uh, brother Amawan from the GMS Charlotte camp. He also addressed it addressing that lukewarm butthurt spirit from the same individual and then you had a brother made a response to his video it's right here just bear with my computer is moving kind of slow <clears throat> so this is the brother from the uh gms south carolina's mid gms south carolina midlands camp also all right the brother ein response addressing that lukewarm butthurt spirit he was also addressing this individual all right and the individual that they were addressing and you can go to subscribe to all those brothers channels too by the way salakia so this individual that they were addressing this guy grace 144 formerly grace 144 pompano florida he was a brother that you know we used to see on the highways and hedges <clears throat> out of pompano florida and brothers noticed that he hadn't been on the highways and hedges in like six months. And his videos are getting less and less and less. And even, you know, he basically now has been reduced to a snippet or a short video type of ministry. So, you know, as you can see the individual right here, he hadn't been on the highways and hedges in six months. And then before that, seven months. So it was a gap, you know, and you see that pattern. A lot of times, dudes start to fall off slow. You know, there'll be a gap. See, right here from 10 months to 9 months. Then from 9 months to 8 months. So, there was a gap in between there. Then from 8 months to 7 months. And then from 7 months to 6 months. So, the dude is, you know, hadn't been on the highways and hedges in like 6 months. But before that, he started to take, you know, little short breaks. Little miniature breaks. So, you got to watch out. Now, he popped on the brother's comment board of that camp. And he said, I know most of you brothers perfect in your minds. I just pray you how or why you how shall I deliver me and I'm going to keep repenting. But until you guys not going to say no names, but I've been in your camp. Now, you was never in, in our camps. You was never in Charlotte. You was never in one of the, either one of the South Carolina camps. All right. You ain't never been in GMS. You just was a brother that was an affiliate. That's all you've been. You might have been around brothers. You might know brothers a little bit. Which really you should have just been dealing with the brothers in, in the Florida camp, which we got word from the brothers in the um, West Palm Beach camp, you know, that you basically was looking for sympathy. Now, he says, and I heard. But to you guys not going to say no names, but I've been in your camp and heard a lot of things that was said that some of you guys need to repent for. Not going to mention what it is, but hey, you guys be great. Look yourself in the mirror. So this is an accusation from a lukewarm dude and nobody said nothing to you. None of these brothers did anything to you. Why you why you running your mouth? You're doing that out of a guilty conscience because you know that you fell off. 
You need to take that up with your Howard Bashim and Howard Shai. And the word is that you soft on your woman. That's the reason why you slacking on the work. But at the end of the day, it all goes back to your Howard Bashim and Howard Shai. So, you know, if you're having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. All right. Like Jay-Z said. And not to mock because, look, you only I mean, I see you still putting up videos. You know, you trying, you know, you're trying to do videos and whatnot. Right. You did one five days ago. And then before that, two weeks, but even with that, though, these little shorts and little stuff that, that guys do. That shit is not the, that's not preaching the gospel of the kingdom. So, you know, <clears throat> at the end of the day, maybe you just repent. But but come and bring an accusation to brothers that hadn't done anything to you. That's that spirit of guilt. You got a guilty conscience because you know you haven't been doing what you needed to do. And that's all it is to it. So this guy's popping up. You know, he's a wither. He's a lukewarm right now, but he's starting to wither. All right. And then you had this other, these other individuals that the brother uh GMS Virgin Island Straight Gate. He was getting on this guy. These two dudes. Now he did a video entitled They Are Not of the Body. This is from GMS Virgin Island Straight Gate, Brother Nabala. You can see he did a video saying these brothers was not of the body. Karath Israel. And this is this is that that uh dude looking for sympathy and mercy. All right. And these dudes is lukewarm too, but they also withered branches. So this guy says, if I was going off, tell me, tell me in what way. And as the brother was going into in his lesson, which I watched the whole lesson, brothers did all kind of rebuke videos on these on these uh on these two moolies. These dudes right here was the, the, the two niggas that was saying the most high love everybody. But then oftentimes Jake will pop back up later on after the shit blow over and be like, well, well, how was I going off? You niggas know how you was going off. You know exactly what you said. And the word is recently you came on the Dallas Brothers comment board talking shit. You're trying to be relevant. But see, these, these two goofballs right here, you got to be careful of guys like these. They, they do videos and they try to do little backhanded shit. You know, try to miss you know reword certain things right reword certain things like here they know what they did wrong they they went into a whole doctrine talking about the most i love everybody even esau so you know goddamn well why you got rebuked and why brothers don't fuck with you like that don't pop up now looking for sympathy you see the prophecies popping off don't pop up now looking for mercy here's the video right here god loves everybody got a thousand views on it right now he goes on there's another video, God Loves Everybody, another installment. And you niggas was snickering and laughing and shit in the video because you knew you was going off, but you didn't give a damn. So they launched a whole ministry, you know, based on trying to come against what, what brothers teach. But these, see, these right here are some little Decepticons. So they got the little ministry that they think is, you know, but it's not profitable. All you're doing is just trying to prove, you know, I don't know if you're trying to prove GMS wrong, but they got that spirit of contention it's underneath and they acting like they're just going on with their business but why you popped up all of a sudden now and you can see these guys starting to wax cold too it's seven months six months then from six months to five months you went out two times six months ago then you went out one time and then after that a whole two month gap then you got you know a video here three three uh three months later or two months later then you got from three months to two months then from two months to one month and that's a car video and now just recently from a month ago to two days ago you finally went back out on the highways and hedges so these right here are some withered branches all right because they've been disconnected from the source they've been disconnected from the vine which is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is a true vine and they left off from that because they started preaching a wayward doctrine so brothers out there beware of these you know different individuals in the last days they're gonna be more of them former gms dudes Dudes that had air in their chest, guys with shit to say, they're going to start popping up, trying to strike up a conversation, trying to get you to go through the whole process and tell them what they're going off. No, no, ain't nobody doing all that. You've been warned already. You got rebuked. You didn't listen. You kept the stupid videos up. Now you're starting to diminish and you can see that you're slipping. Them, these dudes is lukewarm and they're with their branches. That's all it is to us. So don't expect mercy from us don't expect sympathy from us and we just gonna close that out ain't no need to talk about these magpies these you know these niggas anymore they done all right so subscribe to the brothers channels we just gonna go into a video now to a lesson just wanted to show those <clears throat> that that's a spirit that a lot of jakes are gonna come in guys that have been enemies guys that have been little reprobates and this other guys is on the comment board 
that you never seen their faces but they're secretly enemies but they come on the comment board posting scriptures in the live streams and I'm, what i'm gonna start doing is if you if you're not an affiliate brother and if you ain't in the gms camp teaching i'm gonna start taking niggas off the comment board if you ain't got no videos up if you ain't doing the work you don't need to be if you don't want to teach with us you don't need to teach with us if you ain't following the orders of the elders and apostles you ain't part of the body and that's all it is to it so this is john 15 verse 1 it says i am the true vine this is Yahweh shot speaking and my father is the husband man every branch in me that beareth not fruit he taketh away and these days you ain't bearing no fruit you ain't growing in the truth you ain't doing what the apostles told you to do through the spirit you ain't keeping up with the orders you believe in a different doctrine than us then you ain't with us you ain't bearing no fruit every branch in me that beareth not fruit he taketh away and every branch that beareth fruit he purgeth it that it may bring forth more fruit so to the guy down in florida pompano grace 144 if you if you are uh, looking for sympathy or mercy you need to seek it from the lord we on a mission we doing the work so when you come against brothers with that little accusation shit, trying to bring that discord you see what happened and brothers put videos up on you and they heated you up now what little bit of opportunity you had you might not even you, you might not even have opportunity now you can't come against the men that's doing the work coming against us with the accusation that was an attempt to sow discord all right <clears throat> so you know brothers is looking at you sideways really you should just don't don't fucking come around us no more man to the guy in pompano you can just keep you can just keep it moving every branch of me that beareth not fruit he taketh away and every branch that beareth fruit he purgeth it that it may bring forth more fruit so if you're doing what you're supposed to do yeah i was i gonna put you through little, you know you're gonna go through tests you're gonna go through troubles from the almighty and son but he's purging you so you can bring forth more fruit to those that get withered you done as we're gonna go on to read it says now ye are clean through the word which i have spoken unto you abide in me and i in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine no more can ye except ye abide in me and you got guys them them two dudes karath israel hey they've been disconnected from the vine when they started teaching that way with doctrine the only way you can go is down they're on the way out all right it says i am the vine ye are the branches and see these dudes karath israel they're trying to bear fruit of their self they self-willed out there on their own sometimes they might have kids and they I don't know if it's their sons or what. Some little dudes at the camp, you know, they're basically teaching a doctrine that they came up with. You know, rewording everything, trying to word shit clever, trying to be, you know, trying to be deep. If they knew anything, they would know that ain't no two dudes. You ain't the ministry of the prophets, just two solo guys, all right? You might as well just hang it up. Verse 5 says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him the same bringeth forth much fruit stop right there if you abide in your house shall you're gonna bring forth fruit those brothers that i mentioned right ayin wa uh <clears throat> the brother amawan you know virgin island straight gate and the other brother i can't remember the brother's name but uh yahweh 12 tribes protect the 12 tribes all those brothers bringing forth fruit they're doing the work they're doing their videos every day or at least every other day right brothers is, is putting in work so they're bringing forth fruit. What are you doing, Pompano? What are you doing down there in Pompano, Florida? Other than running behind a stank-ass nigga woman who ain't gonna love you anyway, regardless of what you do. See, that, 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 that whole thing with the women chasing the skirt, you know, being all head over heels over some dame, that shit ain't gonna lead you nowhere because it don't matter. Even rich men can't get these goddamn women to be faithful. What do you think you're gonna be able to do? I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. And you can see it. And them dudes, Karath Israel, they ain't bearing no fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. And that's, that's the reason why they're on that same little block. They're making them videos, tired videos. And they're getting less and less and less. Just like that. And that's what you see. Withering branches. Lukewarm guys. Popping up looking for sympathy and mercy. Trying to create conflict trying to sow discord that shit ain't gonna work <clears throat> verse 6 it says if a man abide not in me he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire 
and they are burned and that's what's going to be the end result you're going to eventually be burned if you make it that far to all them dudes that we mentioned to the lukewarm and the withered branches now i'm going to read this in the nlt it says i am the true grapevine and my father is the gardener he cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit and he prunes the branches that do bear fruit so they will produce even more you have already heard salaki you have already been pruned and purified by the message i have given you <clears throat> remain in me and i will remain in you for a branch cannot produce fruit if it is severed from the vine and you cannot be fruitful salaki and you cannot be fruitful unless you remain in me yes i am the vine ye are the branches those who remain in me and i in them will produce much fruit for apart from me you can do nothing and 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 guys will often say just because i stop messing with great millstone i mean i love you how was shy yes it does okay because we're in tune the spirit of you how about you how shy is dealing with the apostles and elders of great millstone and they ain't being proud if we say that gms is worldwide what did the scriptures say this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come and that's the only group that can really even say that IUIC can say they worldwide because they got a lot of people that follow them, but they don't have camps in all of the places that GMS does. They're really not particularly worldwide. Ain't no G ain't no IUIC Italy. Ain't no IUIC Dominican Republic. There's no IUIC Australia. Okay? So when you look over the landscape of the earth, where's the gospel at? Who are the men doing the work? Where's all the all the teaching coming from? We all over everywhere in Africa, Indonesia so you know it is what it is it's just true verse six anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers such branches are gathered into a pile to be burned and that's what's going to happen to these guys eventually especially them two them two goonies you know karath israel because they, they they're some some mischievous malevolent demons okay coming up with that that doctrine god loves everybody yeah okay dude yeah you must didn't read romans 9 13 and then they, they had another video where they said that um that hatred hating them uh, hating with perfect hatred is not referring to hating people yes it is king david literally hated those niggas he talked about that he hated with a perfect hatred you need to understand the meaning of the words anyway moving on so continuing on this is now revelation 3 14 and then to the angel of the church of the laodiceans write these things saith the amen the faithful and true witness the beginning of the creation of the most high which is who yahweh shy i know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot i would that thou were cold or hot so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot I will spew thee out of my mouth and that's what we'll be discussing these certain individuals that have become lukewarm that do pompano florida you almost about to be to the point where you pass lukewarm you need to ask yourself a very important question do you if you think you have a shot dealing with you how would it be you ain't went and teach the gospel in six months you really think the lord is dealing with a guy like that and to you other demons you too proud to even realize that you are already waxing cold too you're lukewarm right now but you've been really you guys ain't even considered you're not even considered in the ministry because you went off you, you just started teaching your own doctrine so it is what it is you know but take note of this brothers out there that seated in this video <clears throat> you have to maintain and be steadfast in the truth you can't start taking breaks you can't start going from month to month not making a video for a whole damn month even going to camp twice in a month is not enough that's only for a whole month there's four weeks in a month if you go to camp twice in a month that's 50 percent you mean to tell me you're only gonna go teach the truth half of the time it's not good enough anyway you can read in the book of ezekiel and see usually when individuals start taking those breaks and and you know stop doing the work and stop being fervent in the truth you really went back into the world because everybody suffers from sins we all go off from time to time we go off we commit sins 
we do things because we're in sinful flesh so if you stop doing the work if you stop going to teaching you stop making videos more than likely you just back in the world that's what it is now if you go to ezekiel 18 <clears throat> let me find the right the right verse ezekiel 18 and this is verse 24 i'll start right here at verse uh matter of fact i'm gonna start at verse 21 it says but if the wicked will turn from all his sins that he hath committed and keep all my statutes and do that which is lawful and right he shall surely live he shall not die right this is what we preach we tell the wicked israelites to repent of their sins all his transgressions that he hath committed they shall not be mentioned unto him in his righteousness that he hath done he shall live have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die, said the Lord power, and not that he should return from his ways and live? And that's the whole key. The Heavenly, pa the Heavenly Father, excuse me, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is full of mercy. He wants to give mercy unto his people, but it's only for the elect. Okay, so when individuals turn from their wickedness, you will get mercy. But on the other hand, in verse 24, but when the righteous turns away from his righteousness, and committeth iniquity and doeth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth shall he live and a dude that's only going out once a month somebody who ain't taught the gospel uh, in six months you you know you've been stacking up sins you in iniquity by now you mean to tell me you going you want us to believe that you're not doing the work you haven't been to camp in six months but you ain't committing no sins you following the laws to the best of your ability no you're not you're not because you're back in the world pretty much and them two guys they just doing that to keep appearances up after a while with jake especially them two two guys are uh, karath israel when they come against the whole brotherhood or they come with a damnable heresy as a doctrine the only reason they even keep teaching after that is out of pride they do that to try to prove they were right but you can already see they're waxing cold in the spirit anyway and they're on the way out pretty soon that page is going to be more it's going to be more and more time going between them camp lessons before you know it then they're going to start doing less videos before you know it that page will be dormant and nobody won't even know what these guys are same with this dude in pompano same shit different day so we have to do our duty and, and hey we got to warn them as well as you brothers and sisters out there now all right <clears throat> particularly you brothers that teach you got to stay fervent in the ministry you can't be taking breaks no matter what happens come hell or high water you must continue to preach the gospel it goes on it says all his righteousness that he had done should not be mentioned in his trespass that he had trespassed and in his sin that he has sinned in them shall he die you see so all the good that you did is not going to be mentioned unto you you can say I used to be in the camp, this, that, and the other, but it's almost as you were never, as if you were never here. And this is Ecclesiastes 26, verse 28. There be two things that grieve my heart, and the third maketh me angry. So the, the writer here, it says three things, or two things grieve his heart, and the third maketh him angry. So the first two are what? A man of war that suffer poverty, and men of understanding that are not set by. And one that returned from righteousness to sin. You see that? So when you stopped doing the work, you was doing a righteous work. And you and you was, to be honest, we all still sin. But when you stopped doing the righteous works, you, everything you do is just all sin pretty much. You ain't doing no righteous works. The righteous works that you were doing, preaching the gospel, going on the highways and hedges, making your videos, tapping in with the brotherhood, trying to avoid sin. You ain't doing that no more. You too busy worrying about what what your lady doing, right? And them other guys, who knows what kind of mischief they got caught up into. And one that returned from righteousness to sin, the Lord prepares such an one for the sword. So, take your hand off the plow, you being prepared for the sword. So that was just a quick video that I wanted to bring out. I got more scriptures, but I think I will commit those to another lesson. And you know, as a matter of fact, I will read this one. You know, on second thought, <clears throat> I wanted to also show you, even with Apostle Paul and when Yahweh was on the scene, there was men that got cold 
that went away that got offended different things came up some people you know wax proud others had uh, uh done you know devilish works let's grab one here um this is john 6 let's go there real quick like i said even when your house was on the scene you had men that got offended right and they stopped you know doing the work or they left and went went back into the world wherever they went a lot of times men left in the truth and, it, and there's no uh there's no word of what happened to them but we can only assume that they went back into the world they just wind up perishing in their sins so this is um <clears throat> just bear with me here all right so this is john six <clears throat> Yeah, this is John 6, 59. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. This is Yahweh Shai right here. Many, therefore, of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, this is a hard saying, who can hear it? When Yahweh Shai knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, doth this offend you? What and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. See that? So even among the greatest teacher on the planet, he who committed no sin, you had people that didn't believe. See that? For Yahweh shall knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. And he said, therefore said I unto you, that no man could come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. See, from that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. So people fell out. They stopped following the Lord. You see, and he told him, the other disciples, that no man could come unto him except it were of the father. And that's the same th thing that it is now. And that's the only reason men, you know, um, wind up getting lukewarm falling away changing the doctrine because they're not right and it's nothing wrong if we call that out we just got to do what we got to do and keep it moving even when you saw the apostle paul you see right here personal concerns it says second timothy 4 9 do thy diligence to come shortly unto me this is paul writing a letter for demas hath forsaken me having loved this present world and is departed unto thessalonica or thessalonica so there was a guy that was with Paul named Demas and he loved the world. So he departed. He went back into the world. That's what happened to him. For Demas hath forsaken me, having loved this present world. He wanted to go back into the world and he left and is departed on, unto Thessalonica, Crescens to Galatia, Titus into Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with thee for he is profitable to me for the ministry so there was certain individuals that paul warned about that was formerly with him that left all kind of stuff happened it's just like now if you go here to verse 14 the apostle paul gives a warning about this guy he says alexander the coppersmith did me much evil the law reward him according to his word no brother ain't right you pray for brothers and brothers yeah whatever man sometimes you can hey you can tell a dude is wicked and you can say a curse on his ass. You know, you even had a dude earlier murmuring over uh, that dude Tazamata got judged by the Heavenly Father. We didn't, we weren't the ones that put judgment on the dude. We warned that guy before. You think I didn't warn the man before he got all messed up? He knew what he was doing. I didn't know fully everything them guys was doing and still don't know. But I knew he wasn't right. Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works. He said, man, may the Lord bring upon that dude according to what he did. And even King David said that. Let me see if I can bring it up. <clears throat> Just bear with me here. Even King David said a similar thing. This is 2 Samuel 3.39. And this is King David. He says, and I am this day weak, though anointed king. And these men, the sons of Zariah, be too hard for me. The Lord shall reward the doer of evil according to his wickedness. And we say the same thing. May Yahweh Shemihah shall record the doers of evil 
according to their wickedness. And Paul said it here with the same dude. Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works. Of whom be thou aware also. Why? For he had greatly withstood our words. Paul said, watch out for this nigga. He's a demon. He did dirt to me and he'll do it to you. Let's get that in the NLT. Second Timothy. Oh my goodness, what happened here? All right. Oh, I see what happened. <clears throat> Just bear with me, brothers. All right. So now we can get this thing here to work. So from the NLT, Second Timothy. And first we'll read 4 and 10. It says, Demas hath deserted me because he loves the things of this life and has gone to Thessalonica. Crescens has gone to Galatia and Titus has gone to Dalmatia. So you see again that guy Demas, he went back into the world. Verse 14, Alexander the coppersmith did me much harm, but the Lord will judge him for what he has done. Be careful of him, for he fought against everything we said. You got them, them dudes, them two uh, goofballs, uh, Karath Israel, they fight against everything we say, pretty much. They're against the doctrine. And then to show up a year later talking about show me where I went off. Nah, fuck you, man. You done. Okay, you done. Unless you correct that doctrine, your ass through. And we ain't worried about you. Ain't nobody thinking about no two dudes talking about the most I love everybody. That's the reason why when they said that, they made that video, they chuckled because they knew they was going off. They, they absolutely knew they was going off. So that's it on that. Um, I'm going to read one more here. Uh, and to show you that it's a righteous thing to, to, you know, to call Satan on men, to give them up in the spirit to just say, you know what? They demons. This is first Timothy one 18. This charge I commit unto thee, son, Timothy, according to the prophecies, which went before on thee. That thou by, by them might as war a good warfare. You have to remember this is spiritual war. Holding faith in a good conscience. Which some having put away concerning faith. Have made shipwreck. Of whom is Hymenaeus and Alexander. See now you see another guy Hymenaeus. Whom I have delivered unto Satan. That they may learn not to blaspheme. So we know Paul said. May the Lord reward Alexander the coppersmith according to his works. And he even throw Hymenaeus in there. He said, this dude, they, hey, they demons. They are complete demons. Let's go to the NLT. See what it gives us on this, on this, these few verses. First Timothy 1 verse 18 from the NLT. Timothy, my son, here are my, here are my instructions for you. Based on the prophetic words spoken about you earlier. May they help you fight well in the Lord's battles. Cling to your faith in the anointed and keep your conscience clear. For some people have deliberately violated their consciences. As a result, their faith has been shipwrecked. Hymenaeus and Alexander are two examples. I threw them out. I threw them out. They got kicked out and handed them over to Satan so they might learn not to blaspheme the Most High. You see? So that hey, it's a righteous work. Because every now and again, you have Jake come and booing over a nigga that got kicked out ain't nobody getting all teary out over the nigga that got kicked out or that left on their own or got withered away when they taught a different doctrine or even those that get lukewarm because they in love okay just the bottom line ain't nobody thinking about it so that's it for the lesson brothers just you know be warned 